Hi everybody. I'd like to go over these five fundamental techniques of musique concrète in Reaper. The first one is splitting a track. To do so, you just place your cursor anywhere over the track that you'd like to create a split and hit S. This is one of the early fundamental techniques of musique concrète that was originally done uh, by literally slicing a piece of tape, magnetic tape. Uh, once you do this, you can reorder if you want to preserve the temporal relationship between these little fragments that have been sliced and let's say you've done some quite complex editing you can then create little groups by selecting every item that you'd want grouped together holding down shift and selecting and if you press G it'll preserve the temporal relationship between all of these. So when I take one and move them, this is now treated as an entire unit. Uh, slicing, cutting up audio files is a very important uh, technique in, uh, in musique concrète. Uh, the second technique I want to look at is reversing the playback of an audio file. So if we take this, for example, and we want to reverse the playback, right click item settings and reverse active take that was again one of the very early fundamental examples uh, bread and butter techniques of musique concrète um, the next thing i'd like to look at is looping the simplest way to loop is if you have um, let's say a small sample that you'd like to loop just by hovering your mouse over the right of that media item I'll solo this track for now and dragging it to the right it'll loop the entire media item uh, let's say for example we wanted to get rid of that silence at the end of this to make a slightly more consistent rhythm you would uh, uh, readjust the size of the media item to whatever you want and then you'd right click and say glue items if you do this it reconstitutes that item basically as its own new media item and allows you to loop uh, after you have it after having edited this also works for anything that you've spliced uh, if we were to ungroup this let's say by hitting U if you want to take this little fragment and just loop it, uh, this is from the track that we sliced uh, previously. So if I were to actually now pull this to the right, all this does is it reveals the rest of the original, the entire track, the entire media item that we originally had in here. If I wanted to loop this, I would just right click, glue items. Now this is treated as its own little independent media item. And if I click here and drag to the right, it would then loop this. After gluing, time stretching is actually a really important technique from early musique concrète composers. Let's take a look at these files over here. Um, in order to time stretch, there are two ways of doing this. One is you can double click on this media item and adjust the playback rate right here. So instead of playing one being the normal playback rate, if you want to play it twice as fast, enter two right here and hit apply. Uh, but another way, let me undo that. Another way that I think is a little bit more fun and intuitive, if you hover your mouse over the right edge of the media item, hold down option on a Mac, alt on a PC, the cursor turns into a little fist, a little hand, and you can grab this and stretch it. And this will time stretch. Now, there's a very important difference between time stretching in a digital audio workstation and time stretching with the analog gear that the original composers used, original musique concrète composers used. In this case, the default is that when we time stretch or compress a file, um, it preserves the original pitch of the file. You can see by double clicking on the media item, preserve pitch when changing rate is clicked. This was very difficult, this was impossible to do with analog gear, with the original tapes 
tape decks that music and crack composers use. So by unclicking this and hitting apply, we now get a closer um, representation of what it was like to work with magnetic tape. And when we speed up the media item or slow it down, it adjusts the pitch. It's up to you whether you want to preserve the pitch or not. Both are valid and powerful tools. Uh, and then the final thing I wanted to look at is just simple pitch shifting. This isn't so much, I mean, it wasn't that common with Musique Concrete, but um, I think it's a very powerful tool. So we have another sample right here. Let's duplicate this and put it in the track underneath. Uh, if you double click on one of these, you can also adjust the pitch by semitones, and you can do this microtonally as well. So if you wanted this one to be, let's say, a minor third above, it would be three semitones above. And now we have an interesting... Let's say you wanted it to be between a minor and a major third, 3.5. you can also pitch shift it down by making it a negative number. So a lot of possibilities. You can imagine with these five simple techniques how much you can do. Um, the key here is that we are using very rich um, samples, sound sources. I think that's a fundamental of Musique Concrete. The, it has to be a high quality recording and it has to be interesting and have uh, some sort of uh, material that can be readily manipulated by these techniques. Okay, so not all samples are created equal. Uh, half of the difficulty is getting good quality material to work with. And once you have that, these techniques uh, are extremely powerful. And if you imagine how long it must have taken the early composers to, for example, split reverse, loop, time stretch. They weren't even able to pitch shift very easily at the time. Uh, hours and hours of work for what we now can do with a simple touch of a button. Um, and one of the added benefits, of course, is that none of this is destructive, meaning the original audio file will never be damaged by what you do to the media items in Reaper. And of course, you can always undo Control-Z or Command-Z to undo everything. Um, so I would encourage you to take advantage uh, of this, the streamlined approach to Musique Concrete that we're able to do here in Reaper and just take a lot of time to experiment and have fun with it.